Hi yogis and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Lindsay and this is Sacral Chakra Flow. This flow is designed to activate or stimulate that second chakra, our Svadhyaya. This is where we house our creativity, our sexual energy, our fluidity. This can also be associated uh, with femininity if you especially are in your reproductive years and trying to stimulate some reproduction. This is where we birth from. That can be birthing projects, birthing relationships, or literally birthing life. This practice will be very hip friendly, all grounded and rooted on the earth. Minimal movement, but if you need props to aid your hip openers, I recommend two blocks or a bolster. I will be enhancing my practice with my crystals. I have my citrine stone. To tap into that feminine energy, I have peach moonstone, which is a very uh, feminine stone, feminine energy stone. Carnelian and orange calcite. For meditation, I will be using sandalwood earthy but yet it um, really brings out that creative juice and for the practice I am using citrus bliss you can use tangerine orange uh, there's a lot of oils that will tap into the um, sacral chakra before we begin our practice if you want to take your oil and place a drop on the wrist you can rub it together and then invite the wrists up to the nose I'm just cupping the scent. Breathe it in until you feel that emotional change taking place in your body. And then you can go ahead, return the palms to the lap. You can turn them knees down, eyes soft. We'll be ending our class with the booty mudra, our fluid mudra, pinky finger and thumb. If you want to activate that now, you can join pinky finger and thumb and flip the backs of the hands to the tops of the knees. And just feel your breath. Starting to feel the powers within you. Coinciding with the water element. And then visualize the way it moves over surfaces, spilling forth, taking shape. And allowing that within your body for this practice. Inviting that element of fluidity in. Allowing yourself to be adaptive and creative. You can keep the eyes closed or start to flutter the eyes open. Coming right into some seated cat cows. Inhale, pull the heart forward. And exhale, round it back, bringing that fluid movement in here. Breath in, open. And exhale. Breathing in, pull it forward. And exhale. One more like this. Breath in, open up. And exhale. Breath in. And exhale, circle around to the left, rock it back, breath in, pull forward. And exhale. Inhale, bring it around, really rock on that seat, move all around, find that fluid motion. And inhale, bring it forward. And exhale, curve it around to the back, breath in, open. 
and exhale to the right. Two more. Last one. Inhale, bring yourself back up. And exhale, we're gonna come down onto our belly. I'm going to invite a block if you would like more stimulation between the top hip points and the low rib points. If you are menstruating, especially days one through three, or currently pregnant, you would not want to do this. And this can activate even your third chakra. Focusing on that second chakra here, just belly down. So if you're not using the block, you're gonna take belly down. If you're using the block, you can have it there. Let the big toes roll in, heels roll out, and offer the third eye down to the mat. And just breathe. You can start to focus on the color orange, radiating and glowing all around you here. Coming out from that pelvic bowl, Pressing downward and expanding. Really tapping into that second energy here. A couple more breaths. Breathe it in. Two more. And last one. And completely relaxing, trying to let go, melt into that block. And then you can go ahead, start to lift yourself and roll up. Coming right into our Sphinx pose from there. Elbows stack underneath the shoulders, little suction cups on the fingertips. Pull your heart through and then try to lift your belly off the floor. Legs are engaged, quads are engaged but relax the bum. Good, squeezing the bum too hard and your back bends compromises that low back. And we're flushing the kidneys here. Kidneys designed to flush our water element. One more breath in, really lift. And exhale, start to roll down and then take the arms wide. You can tempt the fingers or fingertips flat on the floor. Breath in to roll the heart open. We're gonna flow our cobra. Exhale, drop that left shoulder down to the earth. And then breath in, roll it up. And exhale, drop the right. Breath in, press it up. And exhale, left. Breath in, lift. And exhale, right. Inhale. Press it up as high as you want. Let it feel good. And exhale, dip the left. Let this movement be fluid. One more breath in here. And exhale. And then inhale, lift it up. Sometimes we call this seal pose and exhale or intimidation cobra. You can stay here. Maybe you need to lower down. You can walk the hands a little bit more forward. You can stay on the elbows and just lift yourself up, spinning the palms out, or maybe from there, pressing up. Good, take two more breaths in. Stay engaged through the abdomen. Pick that belly button back to the spine. One more breath in, open. And exhale, roll it down. And then go ahead, bringing the hands beside you, palms down. Big toes can kiss. All 10 toenails dig into the floor. Push a marble away with your nose. And inhale, lift yourself up for a little baby locust. You can press into the palms, press into the legs. Again, where quads are engaged, but the low back is free because we're not overly squeezing that bum. Good, lifting the heart space. Belly button pulls away from the earth. One more there, keeping the head in line with the spine, so not looking too high up or too far down. 
One more breath in, lift. And exhale. You can pick a cheek and stay there. Maybe take a breath. And the windshield wiper the legs side to side. And then release the legs back to center. This brings in a little bit of fire here. You can do what we did before. Or inhale, push that marble away. Let the heart follow through. Gaze in line with the spine. All ten toes stay down. Or maybe this time ten toes lift. If that feels good, stay. If you want a little bit more, inhale like someone's pulling on your fingers, reaching your arms to the back. Breath in. Stay focused on that belly area into the earth. Maybe you feel yourself rising and falling with your breath. Two more. One more breath in. Inhale, lift. And exhale, pick the opposite cheek. You can rest here or take a moment and windshield wiper the legs side to side. Returning to center, our last back bend here. Any two options we took before or inhale, push that more of a way, lift the heart, follow through, toes lift, fingers lift. Maybe you're ready to engage, squeezing the heel of the hand together. Breath in, really opening up and out. Breathing here. And exhale. One more breath in. Lift it up. Good. This breath, go ahead, lift a little higher. And exhale, roll it down. Go ahead. You can rinse that out. And we're going to go ahead, bring the hands into the small of the waist, clip the elbows. Inhale, cobra. And exhale, roll it down. Twice more like that. Inhale, cobra. And exhale. This last one, breath in, lift. And exhale, counter yourself into your child's pose for a moment, walking the fingers forward, offering the third eye down to the mat. From here, you can start to roll yourself up onto your shins. Exhale. From there, working ourselves into our hip space, really opening up. You can come forward, bring that left knee up and start to slide the right leg back and start to wiggle the left ankle toward the right wrist. Keep sliding that right leg back. We're starting on the left side, tapping into that feminine energy, finding our pigeon pose. If you're rocking over like this, you can grab your block and place it under your left bum cheek, sitting yourself up. Or sometimes I like to place, usually a soft block, not cork, in front of my right hip flexor. And then kind of keep myself up and over the block. And also grab your bolster whenever you are ready breath in lift the heart and exhale and fold yourself down and breathing here staying focused on that sacral area. Feeling that color orange come right back. Try to loosen your grip here. Radiate. Or 
start to tap into your creative energy. Trusting in the power of yourself. Allowing your pen to move across paper fluidly without ever stopping. And just letting your emotions pour out, taking up space. We'll take two more breaths here. One more. And go ahead. Start to roll yourself up. Sit onto that left seat and bring your right leg around, coming into your double pigeon. Ankle on knee knee on ankle. If we are not able to stack our joints, you can grab a block, squeeze it between the top knee and the bottom ankle. A block can go in front of that bottom knee, slide the ankle off, relieve some of that pressure. You can start to widen, keeping as much crossed as you can, a triangle shape down below. You can always lift your hips up on a blanket or even a block. When you're ready, breath in, lift. And exhale, you can take your chin to your chest. And stay right here. If you're feeling okay, and like you have more mobility in the hips, you can go ahead, start to work yourself down over this shape. Maybe still even rocking a little bit of left to right. And then go ahead, surrender. You can take your third eye to a block or stack of blocks. If you're practicing with a stone here, you can feel free to touch one of your stones or sometimes whichever one calls to me or if I am dealing with fertility or trying to stimulate fertility, I would take the peach moonstone. You can place that right in your triangle and then start to connect to that power. Breathing and melting. Again, letting your breath flow. And visualize that orange color. Take one more there. And inhale, start to roll it up. And then to finish this off, you can go ahead, start to cross the knees. You can take that stone. Cross right knee over left, coming into our cow face pose here. And if this is too much, 
you can go ahead, straighten the bottom leg out so you're in a half shoelace shape. And then from here, you can stay right where you are. Breathing in, and exhale, chin to chest. Or start to work your body, folding it over your leg. And if you can, reach up and over, third eye to the block. You can reach to touch that stone if you would like. Whichever one is calling to you or the only one you have. And just breathe. You're a big ball of orange light now. That orange light is flowing out of your pelvic bowl. Staying with your breath, breathing in, and breathing out, and take two more. Start to roll yourself up and exhale. You can go ahead and shake that out. And starting to come in onto the other side. We started with our left leg, our feminine side first. Now we'll lean onto the right hip and go ahead, send that left leg back. When you are ready, you can take as much micro movement as you need. Breath in and lift. And exhale to fold. You can always lift up and down a couple times if that feels good for you before settling. And breathing. And we're back. To our pelvic bowl, freeing energy, opening it up there, allowing the waters to flow through our body, moving forward in our creative and sexual power, and back to yourself with your pen on your paper, just moving. liquid pouring Couple more breaths and, and exhale. Feel that release. Breath in, draw it right in. Visualize an orange spinning wheel and exhale, send it away. 
One more, breathe in, slow and steady. Drag it all up through the body. Send it right into the hips, the pelvic bowl, that energy spinning, that orange wheel. And exhale. Inhale, you can start to roll yourself up. Sit on that right hip and exhale. Stack left shin on top of right, bone on bone, knee on ankle, ankle on knee. Same modifications as on the other side. And then from here, breathe and lift. And exhale, start to roll it down. And then to the left and the right little half circles around. Getting that fluid motion in. Starting to get some juice in the hips. One more. And inhale, bringing it up to center. Exhale, chin to chest. You can stay or go ahead. If you practice with that stone, grab it. And lead with the heart. Fold it down. Breathe. Melt. Open. Free that energy. Drag it right into where it's tight, where it's holding on, where it's squeezing. And exhale. Let it melt. Breath in. And exhale. Melting. Breathing here. Melting, folding, breath in, and spill it out, two more. Start to roll it up. And exhale, cross your knees, cow face. Remember the shoelace option, straightening that leg on the bottom. You want to try to have a nice even seat. This pose can be very difficult here. Taking as much of that micro movement as you need to loosen yourself up. And then exhale, fold it forward. And surrender. And just breathe like liquid. One more. And then inhale, start to roll yourself up. You can bring your blocks close and exhale. Shake it out. And we're gonna roll ourselves down. 
and hug the knees into the chest. Steer them around, rock them around a little bit side to side. And then from here, bring the knees together to touch. Feet flat on the floor. You can always have a pillow underneath your head or a blanket. All we're going to do is tap into that sacral energy. So you can take a breath in here. Start with the left leg. Exhale. Just let the left knee fall to the earth like a half butterfly. Inhale. Pick it back up. And exhale. That right knee falls down. Breath and lift. Using the mobility of the bone socket joint in our hip. And exhale. Left. And if you need to stop there, you can stop there. If you can drop it further, go ahead. Breath and lift. And exhale right, allowing yourself to rock onto the edge of the foot. Breathing in, and then you can always rest your hands on that pelvic bowl, kind of tapping that energy. Exhale, making this upside down triangle shape. And breath and lift. And exhale right, allowing your hips to rock a little bit. Breathing in. Exhaling out. Two more sets. Good. Finishing this one. And our last set here. Breath in. And exhale down. Inhale in. And exhale. Inhale lift. Ending here, we're going to exhale, open both legs. Couple things before we finish. We're coming into Shavasana before meditation. So not a traditional Shavasana. You can have one block under each knee, especially if the hips are tight. And that might be right where you wanna be. You can have left to heart, right to uh, your navel. You can keep that shape there. And if you want to grab your stone, remember peach moonstone if you're working on fertility. I have my stone. And I have my little mudra. Just go ahead. Start to melt. Feel everything let go. Release the tension in the jaw. Allow the lips to part, the eyes to go heavy. In preparation for meditation, you can really start to tap into that power in your hip space, your birthing power. Circling back, staying with your orange light, it can be any shade of orange. Start with a small circle of energy flowing. Breathe in to your orange light. And with each exhale, feel that orange light expand. Keep breathing, tapping into it, opening up your powers. And exhale, that light is expanding. Breathing here. starting to overtake your body. Feel that warm energy. Take two more like this. Exhale, send it out from your pelvis, starting to encase the body in an orange ring of light. One more breath in. And on this exhale, complete surrender. You're encased in a glowing orange light for final rest.
starting to bring yourself back into awareness. And stretch the arms overhead if you want. And when you're ready, just bringing one knee up and over to meet the other, rolling on to the left for a moment. Fetal pose. Remembering how you were birthed. Tapping into that power of rebirth. Knowing you can receive it through every yoga class. And then bringing yourself up to a comfortable seat. We'll join ourselves in a comfortable place for our sacral meditation. And keep your stones around you or have whatever stone you like. If you want to switch oils for something a little bit more earthy yet still in touch with the second chakra, you can go ahead, grab, I have sandalwood here. It's a thick oil, so it takes a moment. And again, you can rub that in. And bring it up. Mm. Beautiful oil. And then you can go ahead. We're gonna come into our fluid mudra, our booty mudra, which is our pinky finger and our thumb. If you wanna keep a crystal close, you can always place one in your palm or both palms here, or just set it down in front of you, or even have it rest on the top of a foot so it's toward your pelvis. I'm gonna put mine in my left hand, pinky finger and thumb. Soften the eyes, engage your body. Sit up nice and tall, reaching the crown of energy to the sky above. Take a big breath in. Let it out of the mouth. With the lips gently pressed together and the jaw relaxed, bringing ourself to the water's edge. Gazing at an imaginary sunrise or sunset. Feeling relaxed and calm. Watch the reflection of the sun dance across the water. Take in this scene, finding the beauty and your appreciation for life. Noticing your physical senses, the serenity, the joy, bringing your focus right below your navel in the center of your abdomen. Imagine the orange light of the sun radiating out, gorgeous and warm from this area. Then feel the water flowing through you, like your blood flows through your veins, freely, smoothly, steadily
stay in touch with the sensual aspect of flowing water, still admiring the beauty of the sun's reflection. Know that you are in the flow of life. Feel the blossoming of creativity. And then breathing in the words, I am. And exhaling, passionate. Breathing in, I am. Exhale, open. Breathing in. I am open. Exhaling to experience the present moment through my senses. Breathing in. I allow myself Exhale to experience pleasure. Breathing in emotions. Exhale are the language of my soul. Breathing in I am. Exhale at peace. Coming back to your beautiful scene, feeling the air on your skin, noticing the temperature, seeing the sun dipping or rising from the horizon, tasting the air around you, smelling its freshness, Hear the gentle sound of the water. You can start to bring your awareness back in. Eyes closed or start to take in your surroundings, slowly opening them. You can bring your hands in Anjali Mudra and hold that stone tight if it's there. Press the thumbs into the breastbone, honoring your practice, finding the gratitude here, and floating the thumbs up to the third eye, lifting our heart, bowing forward, namaste. Hi, yogis. Thank you for practicing this beautiful sacral activation with me. Tap into the feminine energy. Get your fluid, creative juices moving around. Comments, questions, please leave them below. Remember to like this video. It helps me so much. Subscribe to make sure you find out when I release new videos. Namaste.